What's up my beauties? Welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. Hi, I hope everyone's having a wonderful and amazing Saturday. I'm, I decided I have a day off, might as well film. And I decided what to film, what to film, what to film. And I really sat and thought about it. I'm like, well, I did a, a vote for cooking and a dollar store. So I said, I'll do the dollar store. So I spent about $12.93 all on makeup. I couldn't get everything. Um, I am missing some stuff. I'm gonna. I made the work with what I had, and I couldn't get face primer because it wasn't there. I couldn't get a highlighter because it wasn't there. But I did get a bronzer, and I did try to work with some face powder that they did have. Um, let me see. And they didn't have concealer, so I'll show you what I did get. So this I got some mascara from Wild. Wild. Um, got this kind of like this blush browser. I got like a cute little. Well, eyeshadow palette, um, lipstick, and the liquid eyeliner. We'll see how this works. Um, I got this foundation. I got some lashes. And I got these things from the last trip that I got, so I'm going to probably do the brown. But we'll see. So that's what I got, um, pretty much. And they didn't have eyebrows, stuff for eyebrows, except for a black pencil. And I'm like, I'm not, it's too dark for me, so... We're just going to work with what I got. So if you want to stay tuned and see how I did a look, then keep on watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the notification button. That will give you notification that um, I posted a new video. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and on Facebook. And that is On Fleek by Sophia. Don't forget to follow me on Snapchat, which is P R I N E S S S O P H I A. And I hope you guys like my video, so let's get to the tutorial. So they didn't have any face primer at the dollar store, so I'm just going to use my Brenda Case Optical Illusion. So they didn't have any eye primer at the dollar store, so I'm just going to go with my original concealer called Cover FX in the color Extra Light. So I did get the Dollar Store Foundation, which is called Sashi Chic BB Beauty Benefit Cream in the color medium. Of course, I explained they don't have concealer at the Dollar Store, so I had to use my original one, which is the Tarte Shape Tape. So, of course, they didn't have any setting powder at the dollar store, but I did get some type of powder there, and I'll show you guys that later, but I did use the NYX Can't Stop, Don't Stop in the color light. This I did get at the dollar store. It's a uh, bronzer slash blush. It's LA Colors bronzer and it's in the color baked. And this actually didn't care for too much, but it did the job. So as I said, they didn't have any setting powder at the dollar store, so I'm just going to go in to set the bronzer with the can't stop, won't stop. Setting powder from NYX in the color light.
So for the powder, I went with the LA Colors, and I did get this at the dollar store, and this is the color nude. So shocking enough, they did not have any blush at the dollar store, so I had to use my NYX Color Cinnamon. So as you can see, I used this eyeshadow palette from the dollar store, which is the LA Colors Eyeshadow Bold in the Chic, and it's a 12-color palette. I used that yellow tone in the palette as my base color, and then I used a lighter shade of purple in that palette as well, and then I went the darker purple inside the crease, and then what I did for the bottom of my eyelid is I did the LA Colors also from the dollar store. I should have shimmer loose, and the color was radiant, and then what I did for the inner corner highlight is the LA Color Snow White, and I also got that dollar store, and it's also the shimmering loose eyeshadow, and I also used that for my highlight as well, and I used the white eyeshadow in the LA Color palette for the brow bone, and then I use the LA Color Loose Snow White to highlight the brow bone. So I'm actually finishing up the eye look, and I use the Snow White. LA colors to highlight, like I said, the brow bone and to do the inner corner highlight. And I went back into that LA colors eyeshadow bowl palette and I used um, a really silvery purple tone to actually put in my tear, in my eye, and then I did some highlighting, which I used the LA colors shimmering loose eyeshadow in the color Snow White as well. And all this was from the dollar store. So I did get this eyeliner at the dollar store. It is the LA Color Liquid Eyeliner in the color black. So for the lashes, I got those at the dollar store in their fashion lashes. They're more of a natural lash. And then I also used a mascara from the dollar store, which is the Wet n Wild Mascara. And for the glue, they didn't have any at the dollar store, so I just used the Kiss Glue.
time to put on those fashion lashes that I got at the dollar store again. I had to set the lashes to dry, so there you go. So unfortunately I didn't have any bra gel at the dollar store as well as any bra pencil, at least not in my color, all they got is black. And I'm just going to go with my Anastasia Dip Bra Pomade in the color medium brown. So to clean my bras, I use the dollar store foundation that I got, which is Sashi and Chic BB Beauty Benefit Cream in the color medium. So for lipstick, it's the dollar store in it's LA color in the color natural shine. So I'm using the Morphe setting spray because they didn't have any at the dollar store to set the makeup. Um, and I didn't care for the mascara from Wet n Wild and the lashes were pretty cool. They were very light. I'll give you the rest of my final thoughts. Bye! <laughs> Here's my final thoughts on the dollar store products that I used. The lipstick is really good. It's creamy. I don't feel very heaviness. Um, very pretty color. Nothing to complain about. I don't know if it's going to last, but hey, you know, it's a really pretty color. I do like nudes, so this actually worked out for me. The eyeshadow is cute. Um, you know, I do purples a lot, so I was hoping to do a different one, but I realized, oh crap, I got a purple palette, so I had to work with it. Um, I wish the darker tone would have been a little more pigmented. But it did do the job. I think it was pigmented enough. As for the foundation, it does come off very easy. It's a really nice and it matched me well. But uh, I think it just comes off way too silly. Because I remember when I was doing the foundation and I accidentally put too much concealer on my nose, it messed up. So the foundation just came right off. Um, as for the bronzer... It's more to me like a blush than anything, so it did do okay, but I feel like it interfered with my bronzer with the blush. So, other than that, I mean, it's cute. It does the highlight shimmer that I use is cute. Um, I'm more of a highlighter junkie, so I think it could have had more of a highlighter. Uh, let's see what else did I use. The eyeliner is great. Like, I had no complaints with the eyeliner. I did my wing pretty quick with it. 
So I was pretty amazed at how quick I did my wing with that. It could be I'm just getting better with the wings, so <laughs> I don't know. But I think it came out really cute. Um, let's see anything else. My final thoughts with the dollar store product. I wish we'd had a brawl gel or a pencil that matched me. I could have done more dollar store products, but I did the best I could. I worked with what I had. So this is my final look on the dollar store products that I used. Uh, yeah, so let me know your thoughts on it. The powder, I wish it would have setting powder, but I mean, it did the job. I had no complaints over the powder. Powder's powder, you know. But anyways, this is it. I, again, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.